This country faces enormous problems. The middle class is declining, poverty is increasing. Uh, we're worried about global warming, we're worried about health care, we're worried about education. And the American people are looking to Washington and they say, what's going on? We have enormous problems and you're not addressing those problems. And I think what everybody in this room understands is that one of the reasons that Congress is not addressing those problems is the power of big money in terms of campaign contributions and in terms of lobbying. Working people are trying to keep their heads above water, and here on Capitol Hill, all kinds of money is flooding into this institution so that Congress spends day and night worrying about the wealthy and the powerful and forgetting about the middle class and working families. That's what we've had historically. And then two years ago, five people in the United States of America came to the conclusion that a corporation is a person. Unfortunately, those five people are on the United States Supreme Court. And what they said is that because a, because a corporation is a person, that person is entitled to First Amendment rights, therefore corporations, Bank of America, Citigroup, ExxonMobil, just like you and me, they can go into their, tr their corporate treasuries and spend as much money as they want in campaigns to buy politicians and to buy elections. Well, let me tell you, in the state of Vermont and in America, we do not believe that that is what democracy looks like. Last November, I introduced a constitutional amendment to make clear that corporations aren't people, money is not a protected form of speech, uh, and I'm proud to have worked with Senator Sanders on that. But Senator Udall has introduced a great amendment. And so many of my friends in the House have introduced really important constitutional amendments as well. The reality is we're a long way from ratifying the 28th Amendment to the Constitution. This amendment process is about a ground game. It's about Americans everywhere signing petitions and taking action and charting out a path to a more perfect union. It's about Resolutions Week, which is an incredible effort, uh, an effort being undertaken by public citizen, moved to amend, CWA and so many other groups, helping activists pass resolutions all across the country. It's about the Declaration for Democracy. And it's about a simple question of whether people across the country who are running for office stand with the American people or stand with the special interests. Bernie mentioned, and I, and I think this is, this is the key to this, all of the issues that you all love, that you care about, whether it's tax fairness or whether it's uh, making sure that the middle class grows. All of those issues function around this issue. This is the core issue. All the things we believe in are not going to get done unless we face down the Supreme Court. They have taken this over. And what we're doing with this constitutional amendment is we're saying to them, no longer. You aren't in charge of this anymore. The state legislatures at the state level are going to deal with campaign finance reform, and at the federal level, the Congress is going to take it back. Citizens United was an outgrowth of this. It is the worst decision since, Buck, uh, since Plessy v. Ferguson. I believe that, of the United States Supreme Court. And just one fact. Something like 17 people have given half the Republican Super PACs money. Uh, half their money. Seventeen people gave the Republican super PACs half their money. What is happening to America? This constitutional amendment is a moral, political, and substantive uh, imperative. And frankly, if Thomas Jefferson or Alexander Hamilton, both sides of the equation, were looking down on this room, they'd say, go forward right on, because our democracy is being ruined by these decisions.